Assalamualaikum and good day. In this lesson, we will learn a new chapter, which is a pointer. So, what is this purpose of the item? So, this is a pointer device that have been used by the lecturer, and you are not looking at the pointer, but you are looking where I'm pointing. At the screen so meaning that I'm pointing something by using this pointer so giving example of the parking lot we have example of the parking lot that multiple of car number one number two number three and so car number four so I end each car located at the parking number P01 for car number one P03 the taxi P05 car number 3 and P06 car number 4 so imagine that P01 until P06 are the location of the parking lot and each parking lot has its own vehicle for example p01 have a vehicle a car but at p04 doesn't have any car meaning that if we try to reflect in programming so this example of we have x equal to 1 variable 1 that have a value y equal to 2 value of 2 store in the variable y and let's say integer a doesn't have any initial value but a is a variable that have the address similar that we have here p01 sorry p02 but doesn't have any value right so we have a variable that have a locations in the memory computer in this lesson we try to learn what is a pointer and pointer of different data type the address of by using m percent symbol operator and differencing by using star operator so what is pointer pointer is a variable that stores the address of another variable in computer memory so there are two operators in C programming the first one is the m percent symbol which is this stands for address of operator and the star symbol represent the referencing operator in other words the value stored in the location pointed by pointer variable let's say we try to look on this example so we have a variable name of variable this is a normal variable declaration and we have a value for this variable and remember that when we declare a variable a memory location will be created for example the variable of var will have an address of 1001 we have another variable that we call as a pointer and this pointer will hold the address of var variable so meaning that 1001 will be stored in the pointer variable and since ptr here is a variable so it will have its own location in the computer memory this is the pointer address this is the variable address Declaring or defining a pointer 
is easy as we declare a normal variable but the difference is only we add a star symbol before the pointer variable so in this example we declare a pointer integer star ptr ptr is the stand for pointer and since this one using a star symbol so we assume that this one is a pointer and this pointer variable will have a memory collection of 4004 but since this one is only declaration and doesn't have any assignment of the address from other variable so there is empty here in the previous slide we learned how to declare a pointers here we learn how to assign the value of a pointer so operator ampersand symbol will be used to assign an address to the pointer so in order to access the values using pointer so the star operator will be used for example so we have integer x is a normal declaration and we have 547 of value that will be assigned to the x variable then we have another variable ptr equal to the address of x so in the example the address of x is 400 so here we have ptr and since x the address is 400 by using the ampersand symbol so we have 4 0 0 0 will be assigned into this pointer another definition is by using the second method so this one is the first method and this is the second method but we will have the same output so here we have integer star ptr equal to x so meaning that since we are using the star symbol and this one refer to the pointer and x is a variable so this one since we have using the star pointer x here is a variable and we want to access the address of variable x and this one should be 4000 so this is what is happening so ptr will be pointed to the address of variable x and 4000 will be assigned into the ptr pointer this is another details of definition from the previous slide of normal declaration of x and also the pointer so what is happening here variable of x is a normal variable and x contains a value of 547 and we assume that the memory address of variable x is 4004 so here variable x stores value of 547 in the address of 4000 so if we try to look for the second one what is happening here so ptr is variable as well but ptr here is a pointer variable and a pointer as we know that will contain the address of another variable so here 4000 belongs to variable x 
so x here and since ptr here is variable declaration as well so ptr will have its own location which is 4004 so pointer stores address of variable x 4000 in the address of 4004 so meaning that we can access the value of variable x using ptr variable why because ptr contains the address of variable x so this is example of code right so we have a two variable here normal variable and also pointer variable so what is the output of x and also the value of x and also the address of x here can you imagine the answer so what is the output of x so the value of x here will be 89 so where did number come from so 89 here we call as a garbage value so remember that when we declare a variable any variable and then this variable doesn't have any value so the programming we try to allocate any garbage value to become a value for this variable so we have a value and we have the address of x as well so we can use the ampersand x here so address of x here is 6356732 so you don't need to remember this memory address because this memory address is assigned by the computer let's say we have another another code that we have here x equal to 100 so here we have an output value of x here is 100 and the address of x here is 6356732 by using ampersand symbol x so what is happening here so we have another declaration so ptr equal to m percent x so meaning said so m percent remember that m percent belongs to the address of a variable so since here is the address of variable x so the variable x here is this one six three five six seven three two will be assigned into the variable ptr so right now ptr will contains the address of variable x but here in this statement print f percent d we have d referencing remember that the star symbol represent the referencing meaning that we try to access of the value by using the address that has been assigned into this pointer so right now so ptr the referencing to the address of x and x consent the value of 100 so that we have the output of 100 how to initialize a pointer variable let's say we have a declaration of x and also num as the normal variable and we have one pointer variable so x consent the value of 500 547 and ptr here remember that this one is pointer the address of x so we have here the address of x here is 4000 
So num equal to dereferencing of pointer. So since pointer here have the address of 4000. And remember that dereferencing is we want to access the value of the variable that store in the PTR variable. So num here will contain the same value as x. So here x, normal variable 547, have the address of 4000. PTR here is a pointer that will hold the address of variable x. And num here, so meaning that num equal to the address of PTR. So here, 4000 will refer to the x value. This is another variable. So what is the value of for A and also B? So A equal to 90, B equal to 10, and then we have two pointer, star PA and also star PB. PA equal to the address of A, PB equal to the address of B, B. So for example, A will have the address of 4000, B will have the value of 10 and the address of variable B here is 4050 and PA equal to the address of A. The address of A here, this one, 4000. And PB here will refer to the address of variable P, which is 4004. Remember that PA and also PB is a pointer variable. And this pointer will have its own address. For 100 for PA, for 200 for PB. So 4000 is the address of variable A. 4050 is the address of variable B. So next, A equal to dereferencing of PB. B equal to dereferencing to the PA. So what is happening here? So A equal to A equal to the referencing of pb so pb here is 10 the value of b here is 10 and right now we change the value of a we become 10 b equal to pa we can set many variable into a pointer for example, in this code, we have three variable A, B, and also C, and each variable contains a value 10, 20, and 100. So we have one pointer, which is star PA. For example, here, PA equal to the address of A. So since A is a variable, then have the address of 1000 so 1000 will be assigned to the pointer pa so pa equal to the address of p so this one we pointed to the variable a so what happening for the second one here right now this one is not belongs to the variable a but pa will pointing to the variable 
B, the address of variable B, 1002. And the last one here, PA equal to the address of variable C. So right now, it's not pointing to the address variable B, but it's pointing to the address of variable C. So in this example, so we can set one pointer that will be point into a variables. Before this, we learn how one pointer can be pointed into many variable at the same time. But this one, we learn how many pointers will point to the one variable. So for example, we have three pointers, P, Q, and R. And these pointers will point to the one variable of A that have a value. So here, we have only one variable A and we have three pointers pointing to the same variable address. What is void pointer? Void pointer is a generic pointer that can represent any pointer data type. Before this, you learn multiple of data types, for example, integer, float, double, and also character. So void pointer is any data type that can be represented. For example, this declaration, we have void star pptr that represent a generic data type imagine that we does not know the data type of variable x and also y so we can use a void data type as a generic pointer for this declaration so in this example, we can assign the address of x and also the address of y into pointer vptr because vptr declare as a generic pointer. So both of these statements are valid. Since we are using a void pointer variable, which is a general pointer, so we need to use a casting technique in order to assign a suitable data type for this void pointer. For example, here, the address of x here is belongs to integer type, and then we want to display the value of this point the void pointer from the address of x integer data type and then we need to specify the modifier percentage here that belongs to the integer so here there's an example of casting technique and then we need have to have here star square bracket integer star vptr similar for the float type here as well From the lesson of previous slide, we know that a pointer can access the value from the other variable. So meaning that, so we can do some expression like a multiplication, addition, and also division. Just let me example here. We want to do addition here. So star p1 that represent the value from the address x which is 5 and then we plus 5 so x here will become 10 so here dereferencing p2 so p2 here is the address of y 
and stop it to meaning that we want to access the value from the address y which is y equal to 10 so here will become 20. Before I end the lecture, so there is another part that we call as a pointer to pointer. It is possible that we want to point a pointer to another pointer. So and this one we call as a two level indirection. So first pointer will be point to the second pointer. The second pointer will be pointing to the variable. So when it said these two variable pointer one is or two are pointing to the same value. Let's say for example here is 100. So these two pointer, let's say this one is PTR1 and this is PTR2. So both pointer PTR1 and also PTR2 are pointing to the same value of 100. 